On today's video, the people of North Fort Myers are outraged that the new landfill was opened up in Coconut Point. It's just wrong. They get everything nice put in here. The people of Coconut are upset that they got a landfill. They don't want a landfill. Look at a nice beachside community. Nice, beautiful beachside community. And they get a dang landfill. Now, the people in North Fort Myers are even more outraged because they wanted that landfill in their community. We're gonna explore that topic on today's video. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Astero, Florida. This is a temporary landfill staging ground. This is where the garbage is being brought to in Lee County. Lee County does not have a landfill right now that can handle the volume of garbage that's being created by the hurricane. And they don't have a contract yet, allegedly, to be able to take this garbage uh, somewhere to a landfill. Therefore, Lee County is using temporary staging grounds until they're able to figure out the situation with the land. That Bama right there. So as we know, the landfill in Buckingham, Florida is a, it's a good landfill, but it doesn't have the capacity to deal with all the garbage generated from the hurricane. So in Lee County, they've set up temporary staging grounds. These will probably act as temporary places to store this garbage until they're able to get a contract from a landfill that is able to handle this much capacity. So in the meantime, because there's no real landfills in Lee County, they're using this temporary setup that's located here in Estelle, Florida. It's a busy area of Southwest Florida with a lot of traffic. And there's shopping malls on the other side. You can still see the luxury cars that were flooded during the hurricane getting towed away. So this area will definitely be a temporary staging ground for these cleanup efforts. Now, if you get downwind from this stuff, it smells pretty bad. And I'm sure that the businesses and malls on the other side can't be too happy about this. But nonetheless, it's a solution to a problem. Even if it's just a temporary solution, it's some type of solution. Since it's very unlikely that the Lee County landfill at Buckingham will be able to handle this much volume. The refrigerators have to be separated because there's Freon inside. And that type of chemical cannot be put into a regular landfill until they take the gas out. So you have your landscaping waste, which uh, can actually get warm enough during, the, even during the winter, it can actually create enough heat during decomposition to where they're gonna have to have, to be careful that this doesn't become a giant um, fire, 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 fire. Fire. Wouldn't that be the nightmare? So we've been talking about how Florida really lacks infrastructure and with a disaster of this size, there's just aren't enough landfills 
um, in this area of the state to handle this. There's only a few landfills. There's one in Charlotte County. There's one in Lee County by Buckingham called Buckingham Landfill. There the, there's one in Naples for Kohler County. However, seems like Kohler County's disaster area is more contained to a smaller area than Lee County. So Naples might be able to manage on its own to some degree. Um, and they, Naples also has the availability, I believe they have a contract with a uh, county in Central Florida to get the, you know, the excess debris into that area. But as far as Lee County, the only landfill here is the Buckingham landfill, which is an incinerator. Um, and it's pretty much laid up to handle garbage from about 700,000 people uh, in this Lee County area. But the excess from the hurricane is definitely more than it can handle. Again, when you get downwind from this stuff, it smells pretty bad. And I would imagine that the restaurants and businesses that are stationed here at the Coconut Point Mall can't be too happy uh, about the smell considering that their customers are, um, you know, trying to enjoy restaurants and dining and stuff like that. Now, this doesn't look like it would put a 5% dent into the garbage that's laying around Lee County right now. So I don't know if there's other staging areas or if this is the only one, but it seems like to me that this doesn't have, this is, this is not even 5% of what you need uh, for, for this size of, a, of, a, of the amount of volume of garbage that's out there. So this is only a drop in the bucket, if you think about it, for what needs to happen. This is a very small and insignificant, I mean, it's massive, but compared to what's needed, it's insignificant. So it raises a lot of questions to how long it will take Lee County to clean all this crap As you can up. see, there's apartments right across the street. There's clearly no way that the residents of Estero are happy about this. I mean, can you imagine living in these apartments over there and having this across the street? No, I do believe that Estero like they, they're like their own little city coconut like they're not part of lee county's permit process so it may also be a deal where like okay you know since they're not part of lee county they're kind of independent with their permit process you know and all that and they have their own like they're not part of the county that it just be convenient for lee county to just kind of pawn it off on them I'm not saying that's the case but it's definitely uh an interesting uh interesting thought right there that coconut really uh estero doesn't really uh it's like the permit process and all that for the county is independent here from lee county so it would be kind of convenient for lee county to just pawn it off on this little kind of uh area since it's kind of independent and again i'm not saying that's the case but it's uh it's definitely an interesting thought there look at this lady she stopped her car on the road to take pictures now we stopped, uh, we got on the grass way out of the way. She just left her car on US 41. These people are unbelievable, man. Could you imagine this, how this community feels about this? Like, can you imagine like living in these apartments over here? We should talk to the rest and see what they feel. Yeah. See if anybody want to be on camera. Yeah, we're going to go to the You can't get here. back into those. Apartments? So we're on an adjacent empty lot. Now it says security cameras in use. It says caution, no dumping, fines up to $3,000, no trespassing. But I, I don't really, I really doubt there's cameras in the woods and stuff like that. I think what there is is a homeless camp here. And this is a homeless people's method of keeping people from going into their homeless camp. That's really what I think. But notice on. how I parked way the crap over here and out of the Let's way. Let's see if we can find some locals and ask them how they feel about a landfill opening up in front of their apartment complex. Bounce, 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 bounce. You know, like, I would have done this in Cape Coral. Not, not. I think the people of Coconut and Estero don't deserve this. I'd have done this to Cape Coral. But that's just my own personal thing. Dale, mija, que te tengo medio. Pítale, pítale para que se quite. Ay, pítale, hacele, pítale. Pítale para que se quite medio, hacele. 
No, porque esa vieja lleva media hora para que ahí hace, no se quita, pítale. Oye, mi hermano, que clase de paciencia tú tienes. No, no es fácil, mija, no es fácil. Of course, the workers here are sacrificing the comfort of their home and setting up temporary shelter on an empty lot. We don't have all day for you. Pítale. Pítale para que se quite. haciendo bulla a un barrio residencial, mi hermano. Yeah, buddy. Camera gang. And across the street is, well, pretty much a mall. As you can see here, this is a mall. There's restaurants. Um, people eating outside here. As you can see, there's people here in restaurants pretty much downwind from this new landfill that's been created here in Lake So it's right there is US 41, so all the landfills are right there. And the wind's blowing out of uh, the southwest today for some reason. Kind of strange for this time of year. Um, should be starting to shift to north wind by now. But as you can see, there's people here eating at restaurants downwind from this landfill. And at times, the smell can be quite potent. Now, I'm not going to exaggerate and say that the smell is bad right now. I do want to clarify that I don't have a dog. Hey dog, how do you feel about that landfill down there? You like the smell? Do you like the smell of the landfill? Roof. Roof. You like it? Yeah, buddy. I'm not going to tell you it's fancy, but it's fancy. I mean, quite literally, you can see this Dillard's from the landfill. They got that local honey right there. But we can say that the Coconut Point Mall is now the Coconut Point Landfill. Got that bump there right there. This is a real nice shopping center. It's not a bad looking shopping center. If you overlook the dang landfill. It is a love sack. That just sounds wrong. So people here are like really snobbed out. Like they'll like wait for a parking spot. Even though like the people are still like not out of their car. They'll stop here and block traffic just because they want a parking spot. Like sometimes there's nobody coming like these people here. Like they'll block traffic. There's nobody really uh There's nobody leaving their car, but they'll stop either way. If I have my pickup truck, I know I'd, I'd just drive over that ledge right there. But there's nobody really coming, there's just snobs. There's nobody really leaving the parking lot. There's just blocking traffic because they feel like it. Mm -hmm. That's uh that's hysterical for it. People are so snobbed out. Mm -hmm. Literally nobody's leaving this parking lot. There's nobody leaving right now. But they'll hold you up for as long as they want. There's like a line building up behind us. But, you know, they're just, they're just that entitled. They have the right to hold up everybody else because they want a parking spot. I couldn't find a parking spot, so you drive around until you find one. Or, if you're a freaking snob, you hold up traffic because you're just better than everybody else, aren't you? Aren't you? I want a parking spot too, buddy. But I don't consider myself better than anybody else. You understand me, boy? I spent too much time in Alabama. These oh. folks are indecent. The designer of that landfill was definitely from Alabama. <laughs> it's like, we're going to put this landfill right next to these rich people to take their poop down the sink. <laughs> their poop don't take that landfill, Will. <laughs> oh, there's people like eating like, right there across the landfill. It's wild. I can smell it from here, and I do not want to eat. This guy sure likes putting his face on stuff. He's got, he's got like, there's like 20 pictures of this guy's face on the building. And there's one photo there of his face pointing at you. Let's see how many pictures of his face are on this, build, on this building. Like one. Two. Two, where's the other one? Right here. How many, like, <laughs> two? 
Like, how many times do you have to plaster your face on the front of a building? Like, this guy's just, like, plastered his face, like, all over this building. In the front, too? Three. Three. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty nice shopping center. It's pretty fancy. It might be four. Four? Can, can you how 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 self centered do you have to be to be like you know what we're gonna put I want my face on the side of this building like five times. Go ahead, yeah. ma'am. Hey, Katie, get back in the car. Right here. Oh, sorry. I'm a YouTuber and I don't want my face out there. <laughs> He's put his face on the side. Of, there's like he's got his face on the side of that building like five times. Like how much, uh, how much attention do you want, buddy? There's an ambulance. <laughs> oh. People on the memo don't say ambulance. ambulance. They say am ambulance. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine having Starbucks and overlooking like a Man, primitive? Though. Primitive landfill. Lee County, get your crap together, Lee County. Come on, Lee County. You could have. There's a Panera. You know what? They could have put this in, in 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 North Fort Myers. Them folks would they would have loved that. They'd be picking all through it and stuff like that. Y'all don't even worry about getting rid of it. We'll take it. Mm -hmm. If they had put this in North Fort Myers. Lehigh is open for the taking. Lehigh. Look how many empty lots there are in Lehigh. They could have done this in Lehigh. North Fort Myers would have been like, well, we'll take all of it. Just put the scrap metal pile over here. We'll take care of it. They could have, you know what? All, all The people in Astero don't want this crap. Mm -hmm. The people in North Fort Myers would have loved to have this stuff. They would have been the biggest bonfire you've ever seen. <laughs> Lehigh and North Fort Myers is way better of options yeah. than this. North Fort Myers is like, hold on. They got that. Why can't we get anything nice? I know the people in North Fort Myers are going to be very angry about this. They're going to be like, why do they get that? Look at all that scrap metal and folks. And they don't want that scrap metal. But they don't even know how to separate the copper out of that pile. Just buy they, some lots dude, together. I'm not even Lehigh. kidding. I'm not even kidding. They could have literally put this in North Fort Myers and the community would have been happy about it. These people here in Coconut don't want to see this garbage pile. It's like, if they had put this in North Fort Myers... There'd be people digging through the pile, getting all the scrap metal out. They wouldn't have to touch the scrap metal pile. Locals would have taken all the scrap metal. They would have made a big bonfire with all the landscaping debris. Like today on the evening news, the community of North Fort Myers is accounted for a large bonfire that can be seen from Fort St. Lucie. <laughs> we have uh, reports. Uh, we have a reporter on the ground in Fort Pierce, Florida. Uh, Fort Pierce, Florida... Uh, what do you see? Well, Larry, we're looking at the night sky, and we can see there's a big cloud coming from North Fort Myers. <laughs> the smell is unbearable. <laughs> the people of North Fort Myers would have loved the opportunity to get their hands on some of this stuff, bro. Yeah. They should have put this in North... They should have put this, like, like between North Fort Myers and the Suncoast Estates or somewhere. They would have loved that. Why like they a, just the put Walmart it in park, The Walmart parking lot in North Fort Myers... Would have been the better place to do this. There's yes. no doubt about it. There'd be people. They wouldn't have to even worry about what happened to the garbage. They'd be, they'd be digging through it. They'd take the scrap metal and scrap it. They'd burn. They make bonfires and all the other debris crap. End up in a bed bug. Just a motel across the street could upgrade their furniture. I mean, I'm just saying they could. North Fort Myers would have been a much better candidate for this stuff. Mm -hmm. Now that's the problem about Lee County. They don't have good paper to make good decisions down there. Why would you put this in a stair? You put this down there in North Fort Myers, them people would be happy. At least put it somewhere where it's not accessible or looked at, where you can see it from the well, main road. You wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. Now, them people would be happy. North yeah. Fort Myers would be happy to have this. North Fort Myers is going to be mad. There'd be, people, there'd be lines of people waiting for the trucks to show up. Yes. They'd be like, sir, you're going to have to wait till we unload the truck to dig through the scrapper. Bro. <laughs> Come on, North Fort Myers. You know I love you. <laughs> Come on, North Fort Myers. Don't get mad don't, at me. Don't act like they wouldn't, don't act like like they right wouldn't be happy about that. Come on, North Fort Myers. Don't act like you wouldn't be happy about this because you know you would. You can see there's apartments right there. And then there's literally houses right here. These are all apartment, nice apartments over here. <laughs> people running their dogs and stuff dogs are all happy dogs are like yeah i smell something what smells good there's apartments right here like literally mm -hmm. good thing we didn't move to a sterile man 
Yeah. No, we got the crap out of this county. Well, I told you it'd probably be better to find another road. Okay, so we're just going to have to leave now. We can afford it. We don't need it. I, like, I want some distance between the, the our place and the zone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because now you can have red tide. Who knows what else can kind of unfold out here. Yes. But, yeah, man, people know Fort Myers would have been glad to take this crap. People in Estero don't want to see that. Why pick on Estero, Lee County? What has Estero done to you? Flashback. Became their own community. I mean, that's the person what they feel about that landfill down there. Man, I'll tell you what, they put that dang landfill down there. Yeah, they put that dang landfill down there. Feel like they don't put that landfill right in front of your house? Yeah, they gotta go somewhere. They take it to North Fort Myers. They, they'd be happy to see that stuff. That's what I say. I tell you what, that meadow broke down here. I used to know a guy used to live out here. Yeah. He used to come out here and take his dang water heaters. He used to work. We used to work in here quite a bit. It's a nice community. It's like, it's like a big roundabout. Let's see what the locals here think about I that. I live here. Meadowbrook? Yeah. I think the shopping is better in Bradenton. It's just yeah. the defined dining over there is finer. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. Buy a nice house. Nothing happened here with the area. It was pretty decent. Community. Yeah, they didn't really seem like they got hit too bad. I mean, those trees in the back are beat up, but those are Maluka. They're not native to here. But this community doesn't look like it got hit too bad. And the only thing that hit this community was Lee County. Forget about how would you guys do with the hurricane? Well, we did all right with the hurricane, but man, Lee County done did it to us. Other than this house right here. Right, but you know, like, yeah, I mean, you can have some damage, but like overall, like this looks like almost normal. They probably need a new roof anyways. Put that landfill down there. Yeah, this is a nice community. This is very nice. Other than this truck right here, the whole thing. It is not a bad looking area. Not bad at all. See this people thinking about, oh, they're, they're kids. You can't talk to kids. No. All right. Put that landfill down there. You don't want to be that creepy guy. Hey, mom, in the couch, <laughs> All right, so that's why we didn't move to Punta Gorda. <laughs> no, it's cleaned up. It doesn't look bad at all. It looks all right out here. It's, uh looks pretty good out here. There's people walking. And, tell you what, got that. It's a beautiful community. This ain't bad looking at all. This lady's taking pictures. She's like, they're not supposed to pack that, man. You are not supposed to park on your neighbor's shopping. We're definitely calling the county about this. It's a great looking community here. This, this does look good though. I'm not gonna lie. Um, this is a beautiful looking area. And the house, it didn't take that much damage. But it's weird because I bet if we went five miles from here, like if we just went five miles further to the water here, it would be a completely different scenario. But it doesn't look bad at all here. It looks actually i mean a little bit of like that house there lost some soffit it's not like the end of the world this one lost some soffit right there so they did have some pretty good winds come through but those are their wall-built houses you know good vegetation around them though they, they survived they survived